Hello, my name is Kathleen. This is a Mirabilis plant, and with that I explain the first Mendelian law. If I cross white Mirabilis plants and purple Mirabilis plants, so the mother and the father, their children look pink, and all of them look pink. So that's the first Mendelian law, that all of their children look the same. But this is not always the same. Sometimes there is a different situation. So here are begonia plants, and if I cross the white begonia plants and the red begonia plants, their children are not pink, they are red. But still, all of them look the same. The reason for this difference is the following. If I cross the white Mirabilis plants and the purple Mirabilis plants, their genetic information is transferred to the next generation. So their children have the information for white and purple flowers, but you see the mixture of both traits, which is the pink flower. And this is called an intermediary inheritance. But with the begonia, it's a little bit different. If I cross the white begonia and the red begonia, still their information is transferred to the next generation. So the red plants have the information for white and red flowers, but they are not pink. And that is because of the dominant effect of the red information. So red suppresses white. That is why white is called a recessive trait. And we call that a dominant recessive inheritance. But still, in both of the cases, all of the children look the same. That's the first Mendelian law, and in this movie I explain the second Mendelian law. <laughs>